Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm super excited because I'll be showing you every single dinosaur from Lego Jurassic World Dominion, okay? Let's do a comparison with the older figures as well. So let's get started. Okay guys, so let's begin. I think there are different species right over here. We have Atroci Raptor, we have Pyro Raptor, we have Giganotosaurus, we also have Therizinosaurus. I'll not be reviewing the entire set, we'll just be taking a look at the different dinosaurs. So let's begin with the Giganotosaurus and the Therizinosaurus, okay? So let's go. Okay, so let's take a look at the Giganotosaurus and Therizinosaurus attack set, okay? That comes with different humans as well. So let's open this up and have a look. Okay, so first, let's assemble the Giganotosaurus. I'll only be assembling the set, you know, maybe after some time. So today, I just want to show you guys every single dinosaur first. Oops, that is kind of loud. Okay, so these are basically the contents of the Giganotosaurus. So let's assemble this together. I think it looks really good so far. You can see it has like a very huge body. I'm gonna do like a size comparison later on as well. So let's put on the um, lower jaw, um, the tail. So it has the very, you know, trademark rubbery tail right at the back, the hind legs, pop it right in. Very cool. I think this figure looks really nice. The color scheme looks fantastic as well. Plenty of um, different details. Let's put on the um, arms. So you can see it only has two fingers, which is, I don't think it's correct because I think the Giganotosaurus actually has like three. If I'm not wrong, I can't, I can't remember, but I don't think it's two for sure. Okay, so there you go. We have the Giganotosaurus right over here. So let's have a look at the face. Um, I feel this looks like the sculpt of the Indominus Rex head. Definitely, we're gonna do a comparison later on. The arms definitely belongs to the um, T-Rex, I think. Um, the hind legs looks really nice, but very similar to what we have seen from you know, other dinosaurs as well. The tail seems to be the exact same one as well. But of course, the body is different. It has a very high uh, neural spine bone. So that's the Giga for you. Beautiful. It has like two scars right over here. Plenty of scars on his body. So really beautiful. Let's do a very quick comparison with the T-Rex. As you guys can see, um, the head is almost the same size. The body is definitely bigger, as you guys can see. Yep, you can see the body is definitely bigger. Let's do a comparison with the uh, Indominus Rex. So you can clearly see, I think they are using the exact same head sculpt for the um, Giganotosaurus. So similar to the Indominus Rex, exact same sculpt, just a different paint work. Uh, the body is definitely different because there's this spine bone right over here, where else you can actually put some minifigure right on top of the body of um, the Indominus Rex. The feet, the legs are actually the same, the tail, it's the same as the Indominus Rex as well. So that's the Gigar for you, okay? Pretty nice figure, I must say. I'm quite happy with it, but I'm definitely not happy that um, they actually use the same head sculpt as the um, Indominus Rex, because I feel since you are creating like a new figure, you might as well just create the entire head with a different sculpt. That would be nice. Let's move on to the um, Therizinosaurus. This is definitely an entirely new species, I think, but I think the tail and the body actually resembles that of the um, Indoraptor. Let's have a look, okay? Definitely, I think so. Okay, so this is the body. It definitely resembles the Indoraptor, which I'm very sure. I'm gonna be showing you guys later on. Let's pop in the head. Followed by the, um, where's the lower jaw? Okay, it's right over here. I thought it's missing. The head sculpt is definitely a new one because there's no other dinosaur that look like this. Okay, the tail definitely seems to be similar one to the uh, Indoraptor, I think. And now let's put on the um, hind legs. Wow, oh! The claws are definitely not here, so I need to find a claw. So let me find a claw right now. Okay, guys, so these are basically the claws. So I've actually assembled one set 
just to quickly show you guys okay so right now let's assemble the other set so you basically need to put in um the claw like you know like this just put them on to this um what do you call this not too sure what you even call this but there's actually like an extra claw i think it's given to us just in case you know it goes missing so just pop them right in like this it's really simple okay now for the other one just push it in so it looks really nice so this is basically therizinosaurus it's known as the scythed lizard which means uh, i mean scythed as in those kind of knife that farmers used to harvest their crops the curved knives and you can see this therizinosaurus looks really nice the head can be rotated i think yeah it can be rotated 360 degrees you can move them up and down you can even see like teeth inside so you are able to bend the neck upwards and downwards as well the claws can also be moved up and down which is really cool okay so you can see it actually has sickle shaped claw i'm not too sure whether that is correct i think probably so and um, the tail it's also rubbery at this portion right over here so you can see the body actually is similar to the indoraptor the tail as well exactly the same the arms are of course different and the legs are similar as well i think it looks really fantastic i must say okay so that's giganotosaurus for you and if there is an osaurus i think it's really cool that we actually have some new species when it comes to herbivores okay next let's take a look at the Quetzal quadlis okay let's go Okay, the next set is basically Quetzalcoatlus Plain Ambush. So if you guys have already seen the trailer, it basically shows the Quetzalcoatlus it's attacking the um, airplane right on top. So I'm just going to slice this open and take the dinosaur out. I mean the prehistoric flying reptile out. Okay, so let's see whether it's inside. Oh, the wings is actually packed separately. So that's kind of cool. Here's the body and here's the wings. I think that's all. So let's assemble this together. Okay, so I think these are the only like two different sets. One is the torso and the other are basically the pair of wings. So let me get the beak out, the lower jaw, I think. I love how they have actually packed the dinosaurs, you know, separately, but the wings are not together. Oh, I think we need the rods. Okay, I'm not too sure which pack it is. Okay, so I've basically found the connectors finally. So let's assemble the um, lower jaw first, which is the beak of the um, Quetzalcoatlus. It looks really beautiful. It looks like a bird. I mean, of course, it is like a prehistoric bird. Um, let's put this in. I think this is how it goes. Like this. Just pop it. Oops. I'm really clumsy when it comes to like little things and here's one piece of um, the wings now for the other side i'm so sorry guys i'm so clumsy with all these lego pieces <laughs> it's really hilarious i think so right now let's just join the wings together wow it looks amazing guys it looks really really amazing you can see it is actually a very huge prehistoric flying reptile you can see really nice patterns on its body the material feels really matte okay it's really matte it's not like super glossy or shiny um you can actually move the wings up and down you can even rotate them like this which is awesome okay you can see it has like three fingers on each wing the legs can't be moved, okay? The face looks amazing. The lower jaw is made of hot plastic. This portion I thought, you know, I thought it's made of rubber, but it's also hot plastic. So looks really good. Just to do a very quick size comparison, this is basically um, the previous Pteranodon. So we have two Pteranodons so far, I think. I mean, at least for me, I don't have every single one of them, but yeah, this is, um, the previous pteranodon where the lower jaw is actually made of rubber on um, the top as well the wings definitely they feel very different as well this has a shinier um, finish 
yeah, so this is basically the size comparison for the capsule quadless. Overall, I think it looks brilliant. Okay, let's move on and take a look at maybe the Pyro Raptor. Let's go. Okay, so this is basically the Pyro Raptor and Dilophosaurus transport set that also comes with some human figures like Ian Malcolm, Ali Settler, and a god. Okay, so let's slice this open with my um, box cutter. Okay, um, let's take the packs out. So of course you have different packs and um, hopefully the dinosaurs are actually packed separately. Yes, the Pyroraptor is already pre-assembled for you, which is really small. And here is like a mini Dilophosaurus. Okay, that looks cool. Um, let's assemble them right now. Alright, so let's go. Let's take a look at the um, Pyroraptor first. So in case that you guys don't know, Pyroraptor is also a form of um, Dromaeosaurid, I think. Yep which is also a kind of raptor and the name actually means fire teeth pyro means fire and uh, raptor of course means teeth or robber so let's just pop in the um, lower jaw so you can see this is actually a brand new species it's the kind of a smaller figure which i'm kind of disappointed because i was hoping for it to be you know something like that but of course i do understand that maybe the size is actually different but yeah you can only move the jaw but the face looks great you can see there's plenty of like detailing right over here some blue feathers on the elbow region yep the tail you can see some really nice color graduation right over here as well some nice patterns on the top so overall it's a very very nice figure i must say but you know i'll definitely prefer it to be you know slightly bigger i think that'd be really nice I'm not sure whether this is actually like a um, new Dilophosaurus because I actually remembered we do have a smaller version of this Dilophosaurus sometime back. I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. If you guys know, please let me know. Is this like a brand new Dilophosaurus edition or is this like a, um, um, a new Scott? I mean, or is this an, an old Scott? I'm not exactly sure. So, I mean, if you take a look at this, um, it is definitely a slightly smaller Dilophosaurus. This is our previous Dilophosaurus, okay? Which has like movable head, movable jaws and limbs. But for this, you can't move the arms, only the, um, the legs. So, this part is actually soft, very nice. The jaw can be open and closed, okay? Let's move on and take a look at um, other figures. I think let's take a look at the Atroci Raptor. Let's go. Okay, so this is basically the Atroci Raptor dinosaur bike chase um, set. So you guys should have seen the trailer where um, you know Owen was actually chased by a raptor and that was actually the Atroci Raptor. So it looks really nice. It also comes with two little baby Velociraptors, I think. So let's open this up and have a look together. Let's use my box cutter. I'm not going to be telling you guys to be careful because I'm trying to make my videos not intended for little kids. So adults are welcome on my channel, of course, and adults can definitely look after. Oh, so it's also a small little figure but why is this like packed separately? So I'm very confused. Yeah, why is this like packed separately? And where is the lower jaw? Why are you putting the lower jaw like right inside this pack? It's really weird, right? I mean, it's really weird and there's like one piece hanging out. So that's really funny. So we need to search for um, the small leader of the lost raptor. So let's go. Alright, so let's go. This is basically the Atroci Raptor. So Atroci Raptor is also a kind of raptor and the name actually means Savage Robber or Savage Thief. Okay, so they are quite different from the Lost Raptors because the Lost Raptors is more like a stealth hunter whereas they are more brutal, they are more direct and more conf confrontational. So this is basically the Atroci Raptor, our very first one and only Atroci Raptor from the um, um, Lego Jurassic World series. It looks really good. I really love the patterns on his body and this illustration looks really fantastic. And it comes with two little baby Velociraptors which I have no idea who they are. Um, they're definitely not 
Baby Blue. Okay, so we shall wait for the movie to determine to find out who they are. Okay, so basically we have three very small sized kind of um um figures right over here. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed because I feel that they should be made larger. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed um, of that, but that's okay. That's okay. All right. So let's take a look at other dinosaurs. Let's take a look at the T-Rex. I'm really interested to see what kind of T-Rex they have actually produced. So let's go. Okay, so this is basically the other one which is called the T-Rex and a Trociraptor dinosaur breakout set. So let's open this up and um, have a look at what's inside. Okay, so let's cut this open. Okay, so basically this set comes with another Atrociraptor and a different T-Rex. So let's pop in the um, lower jaw first for the Atrociraptor. As you guys can see, this is an orange version, looks really nice. The arms and legs can't be moved. So just to do a quick comparison, the white one actually, it's my preferred version because the colors are so unique and um, it really stands out. So this is the other T-Rex. I really love how they have packed the T-Rex in um, you know, a packaging of its own. It is cool. Like, I mean, this is how they do it for all the rest as well. Okay, so let's get the body out. The legs, the tail. Why are the arms actually packed together with the tail? I mean, they would have scratched each other, right? Okay, so yes, this is basically the T-Rex. So let's assemble this. Lower jaw. Let's pop in the um, head. Okay, they actually put this as a um, lime green, which is kind of cool, because I think previously it's always like in black. Pop in the tail. Of course, this is the exact same sculpt again. There's no difference, just a different paint scheme. So I'm going to be showing you guys all the different T-Rex paint scheme just to do a quick comparison is this T-Rex like a female T-Rex because I think it has eyelashes right over here you guys can see it looks like eyelashes to me okay so this is basically the new T-Rex I mean there's really nothing much for, for me to talk about except for the paint, paint scheme and the patterns definitely looks really good I'm not too sure whether this is Rexy or it could be another T-Rex, I have no idea until I watch the movie. So let's just do a very quick comparison with all the remaining T-Rex that we have you know, from the um, LEGO Jurassic World line. So this was this was the very first one, the original um, T-Rex, okay? And later on, they also released this one um, for the second movie, I think the 2018 movie. So this was the one. For the 2018 movie, they also released another T-Rex, which came out uh, you know, slightly later, like a few months later. So you, you have like, you know, the um, a light cream colored version, brown version, gray version. And there's another dinosaur, but I mean, another T-Rex right over here, but this is actually not from um, the Lego Jurassic World series. This is actually from Lego Dinosaur series, okay? So in total, we have um, five different T-Rex paint scheme. I'm not sure whether I've missed up any. So if you guys know, let me know down below, okay? So let's move on and take a look at the other T-Rex. Okay, I think maybe instead of the T-Rex first, let's take a look at this Triceratops. So this is basically the Triceratops pickup truck ambush set right over here. And it comes with different um, humans, okay? Claire During, Franklin Webb, God, and another God right over here. So this is a different paint scheme for the Triceratops. We already have one Triceratops, um, you know, from the previous series, okay? So let me just, oh my goodness, did I just cut the box? I think it's fine. I have no intention of keeping a box anyway, um, after I have reviewed the entire set. So let's get, okay, so here's the head of the Triceratops. The body is right over here, so, okay, that's cool. We don't have to like dig for other parts, so let's assemble this. So you can see this is basically the body and here's the head so let's just tear this open get all the parts out the legs the body 
I think these are the two front legs. And here's the head. How do we open this? There's some perforated lines right here as well. So let's open this. Okay, so let's assemble this. Head in first. I think um, the bigger legs should be the back ones, the hind legs, for sure, I think. Otherwise, it will look like a brachiosaurus. Okay, the two front legs. So there you go, a nice Triceratops, beautiful. The color um, seems to be really nice, the mix of colors. You can actually rotate the entire head. The crown is made of hot plastic, so are the horns, they are not rubber. The tail is of course hot plastic as well. You can see some battle scars on top of his body. Let's just do a very quick comparison. So you can see this is like a um, an uninjured Triceratops which has no scars at all. And this one has like plenty of scars. I'm not too sure. Probably the Triceratops is involved in some battles in Jurassic World Dominion. So we'll, let's watch out for that. So you can see these are basically the exact same scars uh, with different paint scheme. I must say, I must honestly say I definitely prefer this um color scheme and the patterns on his body to this one yep what about you guys let me know down below all right let's move on and take a look at um velociraptor blue and beta let's go so this is basically blue and beta velociraptor capture set that comes with blue blue itself beta which is the baby of blue um two humans macy and rain delacorte I have no idea who Delacorte is. Um, I've not done any research on that. I'm just going to wait for the movie for it to explain to me. Okay, so let's cut this open. I'm hoping blue it's a huge figure. I don't want to I don't want it to be like a really really tiny figure piece. Wow, okay, I think we have a new blue. This is definitely the same sculpt as the all the previous Velociraptors. And where is baby blue? Is it inside here? Oh, there you go. That's beta for you. A really adorable one. So let's get this out from the pack. Okay. And uh, let's put all the contents back into um, the box. And let's assemble blue, shall we? Blue and beta, there's nothing for you to assemble, actually. Oh, I think we need the connectors if I'm not wrong. The connector for the head is actually missing. Okay, so let's begin. Let's open blue. So that's the body. Here's the connector. Put it right in. Um, the lower jaw. Just snap it right in. It's a really nice color scheme, I would say. Green color. So in total, we have um, three variations of blue so far, I think. The hind legs. The arms. Okay. I'm not really good with Lego figures, I must admit. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of clumsy when it comes to or assembling stuff. So this is basically the new blue. Looks really good. I really love how they have actually created some uh, light cream color patterns on his body. So you can see the toe claws are painted. The tail is soft and rubbery. The blue stripe stretches across the face all the way to the end of the tail. The other side actually covers the um, eye, which is correct. Okay, so that's blue for you. And here's beta. Blue's baby. Okay, so yeah, really nice figure. It's a really small one. It's larger than all these baby velociraptors as you guys can see. Okay, it's larger. So I think this is an this is a unique size. Yeah, it's a unique size. I think this is the first size of its own. So it's a nice size. Let's do a very quick comparison with um other blue blue figures. This is actually from the um, second movie, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Okay. So this has a bit of a greenish tone to it, greenish tint. 
and this was the, was the very first um, you know blue that it comes with the headgear, the camera on its body. Okay, so in total we have um three different blues so far. Of course, they are of the exact same sculpt, if I'm not wrong. Yes, exact same sculpt. Okay, let's move on and take a look at um the T-Rex. We have another T-Rex, so let's go. Okay, so this is basically the other T-Rex set. Um, this is actually a very simple set, and it's um targeted targeted at younger audience, I think, cause you can actually assemble this pretty fast. So this is basically the T-Rex dinosaur breakout set that comes with a helicopter, a nice T-Rex figure. So let's open this up and have a look. I think this should be really simple. The T-Rex should be packed separately. So it should be simple and easy for us to find it and assemble it. So it also comes with Owen Grady, Zia Rodriguez, and um, a wildlife god and the T-Rex. So let's have a look. This is the T-Rex figure. Let's open this up. Head first, hind legs, tail, two arms, the hind legs, the body. So let's assemble this, okay? Let's um put on the um lower jaw. Okay, this color scheme looks really refreshing. It's really lime green, it's like pastel green. Very weird, I must say. Not a huge fan of this color, but i I know it seems weird but I'm not too sure what to think of this do I like this or do I dislike this I'm not too sure I think I need some time to actually process this this green I feel it should be I mean if you want to go like luminous and um, pastel green I mean make it more obvious I think they'll be really nice this is like I'm not too sure it's like pot pastel it's like pot luminous really weird what do you guys think? I definitely prefer the um, other one which is right over here. This one looks, you know, more Jurassic World to me. This one looks really weird. It looks like a bootleg figure. It looks like a fake Lego color scheme. What do you guys think? Yeah, I, I feel this co color is actually very disappointing. Okay, so I think overall it is a fantastic figure. Cause the pattern looks, the patterns looks really nice. But you can see the patterns are exactly the same as um, this one. Um, I think the top color variation looks really nice, the brown and the um, olive green. But the bottom one seems a little bit off to me. I'm, I'm not too sure what to think of it, but it seems a, a little off to me. Yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know down below. So this is basically another T-Rex. Another so in total, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six six different paint schemes of t-rex so far kind of cool i must say all right our last set of the day is actually um a pteranodon pteranodon chase set oh my goodness this is actually like macy macy is like trying to fish at this little store and the pteranodon is actually targeting the fish that's really adorable and that's owen so how many owens do we have i think we have plenty of owens so let's get this out. Okay, this is like the block. Hopefully the pteranodon is packed separately so that we don't have to like open the packs up. And you know, it's actually inside. Where is our pteranodon? I think it's right inside here. So let's get get let's get it out. Okay, so this is basically our last figure of the day. Okay, so let's assemble this. Let's just take time to assemble this and enjoy the entire process. I actually went all the way down this morning because um, it was actually the release date of um, 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 the LEGO Jurassic World set. I went down early in the morning and um, purchased them. So this is the um, new Pteranodon, the blue Pteranodon. Um, there's nothing much to talk about this. It's basically the same old figure just with a different repaint. The jaw is made of rubber as you guys can see. 
So this is the previous one. Okay, I think we should have um, I think these are the only um pteranodons that we have. Probably there's another one. I'm not too sure. Okay, so so far I have three of them. There's probably another great version which is missing at the moment. I'll try to find it and do a comparison maybe next time. Okay, that should be a grey version, a grey and a red version. Okay, so yeah, so let's just do a roundup of all the different, you know, Lego dinosaurs that were released like just today. So, so let's do it right now. Okay, so the first one is actually the Giganotosaurus. This is definitely my most favorite one from um, the new series. Okay, so that is Giga for you. Um, the next one is actually the um, T-Rex. This one I actually like like it a lot. We have another T-Rex, which I feel this one looks really weird. It looks like a um, you know a bootleg version. Sterizinosaurus is an awesome addition. I must say that I really love this a lot. Except that the you know the body looks very similar to the um, Indoraptor, but I can't complain much because they have done so much for the head as well as the um, arms. So that is actually quite nice. Tetzer Quadlus is definitely a new sculpt, so I'm very very happy with this. The paint scheme is amazing as well. It looks really nice. Triceratops, it's a nice um, addition, but I was hoping to get like a pseudo ceratops. I think that would be awesome. But you know they came up with. Yet another Triceratops. We have two Atrociraptors, which is awesome as well because they are new sculpt, new species. So very happy with them. We have Blue. Okay, Blue. I don't have much, you know, thoughts or feelings about this because this is another repaint. But of course, I do understand that repaints are actually quite important. Um, Pyroraptor, amazing. Really love this because this is a new species. So I really love this. Dilophosaurus, I'm not exactly sure whether this is actually like a new one because I remembered uh, this is supposed to be a new one, not 100% sure. And we have a bunch of, um, you know, baby velociraptors. Beta is definitely awesome. And, um, and our last one is actually the Tyranodon. So overall, I think this is a very, very fantastic series. It is way better than the previous you know, 2018 Jurassic World Lego series because we only has like a couple of new species, but right now we have like so many new species. So overall, I'm very happy. So yeah. All right. I think that's all. Thanks for watching this. I will see you guys in the next video. Okay. Goodbye.